I was born in the Northeast, grew up in the Northeast, uh, wound up with a science teacher in uh, junior high school that was also a reptile importer and he took us to Florida on a collecting trip. Right about that same time I saw a guy named Bill Haas who ran the Miami Serpentarium on TV on 60 Minutes. My parents called me in one night and said you have to see this and he was catching cobras and collecting venom and Bill did that at the Miami Serpentarium for over 50 years and was really the father of venom production. and. So sometime around there I decided that's the plan. I started years ago in a little house in the city. I had 350 snakes in my home, bedrooms, kitchen. We had laboratory equipment in the kitchen. We, we were looking for property to build this place. We built this facility in 1998 and 99. There are about six of us in the whole country and probably 30 of us in the world. And part of the reason for that is the market is tiny and very, very, very specific. Universities, pharmaceutical companies, private laboratories all over the world. And some of it is used in the production of antivenom and some of it is used in a host of medical research applications. I think the snakes are spectacularly beautiful. They come in a fantastic array of colors. They fill a fantastic array of ecological niches and needs. Um, they have interesting and uh, complicated behavior patterns. They're a very necessary part of uh, the world ecology. Uh, they're certainly a very necessary part of the Florida ecology. Um, and they have the ability to kill you, which makes them uh, fascinating at some primal level. And so that is probably what got me started as a little boy. How could something um, be so repulsive and repugnant um, and yet so fa fascinating? So that's probably where it began as a kid. But at the same time, particularly these men, they have a host of applications and probably hold the key to a host of um, afflictions, perhaps I could say. But so we think there are tremendous number of positives uh, mixed in with this kind of unusual level of, of uh, danger. And for me, that's always been fascinating. Emergency. We have a, an emergency bite protocol. And before we start any uh, extractions, we do a safety briefing. We make sure the epinephrine is loaded up. Uh, we make sure the inhaler is ready to go. The pressure bandage, oxygen mask, uh, two vehicles nearby, so I have my keys over there and my cell phone. Carl has his cell phone in his pocket. Uh, Anti-venom. In uh, 2006, Memorial Day of 2006, I turned my ankle and fell, and as I fell, I had an Eastern Diamondback rattlesnake in my hands, and as I fell, my elbow struck a piece of equipment and drove the snake into my face. And as you can imagine, I came down with my weight on the snake. He was terrified. Uh, I was less than happy. Uh, he was hung up in my face. I managed to remove the snake from my face. And because your blood supply to your head is really second only to your heart, things really started moving very quickly. So we got back out here. The bite didn't occur in the lab. It actually occurred in the house. I had broken several protocols that morning in terms of how we work. Got back out here, yelled to Denise uh, and Mike, my assistant at the time. We got in the car, uh, took off for the hospital. I lost consciousness partway there. We're about a two-hour event, and we thought we we're about the same price as a movie. So there goes Jake crawling in. Tortoises, lizards, crocodilians, these kind of things require sunlight, so we wanted to get them outside, take advantage of Florida's climate. In time, the more I call her name, she will learn that her name is Sasha. We opened in January of this year, of 09, so just a little over two months ago. Each month we get busier and busier. We're finally starting to get school groups and scout groups in, which is really the intention to get young people exposed and enthusiastic. And, um, and uh, we're just getting uh, our feet wet and getting our programs set up and getting uh, our exhibits finished, and so uh, we're getting there.